On Sri Lanka's south coast lies a gem of a surf town. The water's clear, there's waves for all abilities, you can stay feet away from the surf, and it's one of the best places to visit as a surfer in Sri Lanka. So in this video, we're diving into everything you need to know about Midagama. Now it's a rainstorm. It's raining, it's really windy. The waves are like two foot and onshore. So while I'm definitely not scoring waves and probably won't get the chance to show you the waves up close. I do want to break this place down for you because it is a wicked little stretch of coast. So first up, we've got the waves now starting off in the main town in the area, Welagama, which is actually next to Midagama. It's a long crescent shaped bay. It's got peaks that are wicked for beginner surfers. On bigger days, it can also be good for intermediate and advanced surfers. Right here on the sand, you've got any number of different surf schools where you can hire cheap surfboards. If you're a beginner or you're learning to surf, Welagama is probably one of the best places to do it in Sri Lanka. Then just down from Welagama, you've got the beautiful beach of Marissa. Now, Marissa is a stunning like golden sand beach. Regardless of the surfing, it's a wicked place to go and visit. There's bars and restaurants on the beach. Out front, there's kind of like a sh shore break style wave, which is pretty good for body surfing, not amazing for surfing unless it's small. But at the western end of that beach, you've got a right hand point break. And as an intermediate, it can be a really, really good place to, I guess, introduce yourself into point break style waves under the most beautiful setting ever. So heading back west into the Midagama area, first up we've got coconuts and plantations. Now this stretch of coast is, it's kind of like a beach break slash reef combination of both. And there's kind of two defined peaks, coconuts and plantations. They're kind of like A-frame peaks, pretty good for an intermediate and definitely advanced surfers. It's a good, if you're just looking to do turns and a fun, easy wave to surf. Yeah, this little stretch is epic. Then just across the channel from coconuts and plantations, you've got probably the best wave in the area called Ram's Right. Ram's Right is a really fun little right hand barrel. It's a little bit slabby, but as far as a slab goes, it's not really that heavy. And then just across the channel from there, you've got another wave called Lazy Left, which as the name suggests, is a really fat, mellow left hand point, really good for intermediates. In that whole little stretch, Within those few hundred meters, you've got all those waves just on that stretch of road, which is really sick. But yeah, that's just a little overview of some of the spots in Midagama. So the best time of year to surf in Midagama is from sort of November until March. That's like the prime season. Mid-November onwards, you're gonna get fun waves. That's when the conditions are best. You've got consistent waves. You've got consistent weather patterns where it's offshore in the morning, onshore in the afternoon. So yeah, definitely head there during this time. So how do you actually get to Midagama? So Midagama is located in the southern province of Sri Lanka. It's just over two hours by car from Colombo Airport. The best way to get to Midagama is via private taxi transfer. I'd recommend doing this via your accommodation. Just when you go to book, flick them a message and it's just the easiest way because you'll be able to put your boards on the roof and it'll be a lot more comfortable than the public transport if you are on a super tight budget you can take public transport you know you can get the train or the bus I don't know how you go taking boards on the bus, but you can definitely get them on the train. With that comes all the hassle of getting on and off the train and the crowd and the sweat and the hassle. Once you're there, getting around is pretty straightforward. If you're staying in Midagama, it's just a little stretch of street and there's a couple of different restaurants, a little surf shop, a place to do laundry and a few accommodations kind of dotted along it. If you want like more choice with accommodation and food and bars and things, you have to go into Welagama. This is a little bit far, so you'll definitely need to get a tuk-tuk or take the bus down to Welagama. You basically can't walk down the street in Midagama without you know, getting hassled to get a tuk-tuk. So it's really easy and it'll cost you a couple of dollars just to get to and from town. Or you can jump on the bus, you'll see the buses fly down the road like every few minutes they go stupidly fast so you can jump on one of them as well if you're on even more of a budget so just some tips for surfing in Midagama while it is a small town it is popular so a lot of these surf breaks are crowded particularly rams when it's good even coconuts and plantations you know really fun like user-friendly waves so obviously that attracts like a crowd of like intermediate and advanced surfers I wouldn't head there expecting to score waves by yourself and then as far as the town goes so Midagama is not really a town as such it's it's just like a stretch of road, but for more like bars and 
for more like of a happening place, head into Welagama or Marissa if you want to get stuck into some of the nightlife. And then the waves, there's just a lot of variety in the spots in this such in such a small area. It's really cool actually. You know, you can get little barrels if you're an advanced surf. You've got like a beginner spot at Welagama. It really is like a, a place where you've got something for everyone, which is really cool. They're just a couple of tips for surfing in Midagama. As for where to stay, so during our trip, we stayed at a place called Cozy Cocos. It overlooked rams and plantations. You could kind of get a glimpse of both waves straight out the front. It's a pretty big, like, concrete tower block property. It's pretty ugly, to be fair. But the rooms were nice, you know, we had hot water, we had AC, the Wi-Fi was pretty decent. Had everything you need and you're literally a few feet away from the waves. And then in that same area, there's another wicked one called Plantation Inn. They're two pretty good options on that stretch. For more choice, again, you've got to head into Welagama and there you'll find a few cheaper hostels and more, I guess, diversity in the accommodation. So I hope you've enjoyed this breakdown of surfing in Midagama. I hope it's given you all the information you need to know to make a surf trip happen. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. For now, it's goodbye from me and I'll see you in the next episode.